Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, today I'm going to cover a very small topic, but it's very important sometimes how to handle, you know, irritating pop-ups, right? We have seen in FreeCRM.com, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, chat pop-ups are coming. Okay. <coughs> I'm talking about these pop-ups, guys. Okay. The moment you open this particular site and then you will see that, okay, this particular pop-up is coming. Okay. So I'll show you that how exactly this particular pop-up will look like. So let me close this Chrome browser and then let me execute one script. I have written, okay, well like this, I'm launching the Chrome driver and uh, launching this particular URL, entering username, password, very simple and clicking on, I'm trying to click on submit button. So what will happen? It will enter username and password. Okay, I'll show you on the login page. It will enter username and password over here, but it's not clicking on login button because of one irritating pop-up is coming or chat pop-up is coming every time. Okay, so let me show you. Let me execute this script. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> so it's launching and see it's not clicking on login button. Suddenly this with a sound, this particular chat pop-up is coming immediately. Right. So this is the biggest problem that okay because this particular pop-up is coming the complete DOM structure is getting disturbed and it's not able to clicking on it's not able to click on login button and if you see the error it's giving that no such element exception unable to locate element the login button it's not able to locate so how to handle such kind of scenario how to handle this so to handle this what exactly you have to do guys okay you can see that okay the moment this is now this is not alert <clears throat> this is not browser pop-up also this is called model pop-up okay sometimes we see such kind of pop-up suddenly it come it's coming so we have to validate that whenever it is coming what we have to do we cannot switch we cannot use that driver or switch to dot alert or something like that because this is not java script pop-up right you can spy this and you can see that okay this see you can spy this particular element so this is not alert because alert we cannot spy okay and these are not a new window is coming or new tab is coming it's not window pop-up also browser window pop-up also so how to handle it so we know that if you see if you observe one thing over here we can mouse over okay so initially it was like that the moment we mouse over this particular cross button is coming <coughs> so my task is to just mouse over and click on this cross button okay so how to do that so to do this thing, I just need to get the X path of maybe, and you can mouse over anywhere. We just need to mouse over on this particular text area or in, in this particular section. The moment this particular cross button or icon is coming, I have to click on it and then I have to perform login. Okay, so how to do that? So let's do it. <clears throat> so before login, what we have to do. So this is called, these pop-ups are called model pop-up. These are not alert pop-up. These are not browser window pop-up. These are called model pop-up. So to handle this thing, what we have to do guys. So if you spy this thing, first of all, I'll right click and then I'll go to, I can see that, okay, there is a frame is available. So I inspect it and I'll see that, I'll see, see there is a frame. You can see that one iframe is available. This iframe, this is this particular pop-up is coming under this particular iframe one iframe is there you can see that and the iframe name is equal to this okay intercom borderless frame so just you just need to copy this and what you have to do we have to switch on that particular frame first driver dot switch to dot <coughs> frame and we have to paste this particular name okay driver dot switch to dot frame is there the ones we have we are available on this particular frame after that we have to somewhere we have to just mouse over okay on this particular frame on this particular section after switching so how to mouse over so i inspect this particular section let's see this particular section i'll inspect i can see that there is like uh, this div is there or div div class is there i just need to switch on that particular mouse over on that particular div so that this particular icon will be displayed and the moment it displayed i click on it right so i'll use this class in my x path 
so after switching what i'll do driver dot switch to dot sorry not switch to sorry 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 <coughs> driver dot okay we have to mouse over so for mouse over we have to create actions class okay we have to use actions class object remember actions class and uh, just import this actions class with this action reference we have a method move to element okay and what is your element my element is driver dot find element by dot <coughs> xpath and the xpath we know that this is the class so i'll i'll create my own xpath for that so this is div and uh, i'll use contains at the rate <coughs> class <coughs> this is my class name and dot build dot perform right <coughs> so move to element is what exactly it will do it will just move on that particular element and the moment it moves over here this icon is getting displayed and now i'll inspect this particular icon and i'll see that this is again coming inside this particular div and under the div the span is there okay so quickly i'll create the xpath for that so once the move to element is there that cross icon is visible and then i'll click on it so driver dot find element by dot xpath xpath of that particular uh, cross icon so it's starting with div i'll use contains at the rate class comma okay and uh, this div class is this so i'll copy this class and under that class okay under that particular div this is the span is available right this div class equal to this and a span is there actually you can click directly on div also but make it to make it more robust <clears throat> proper xpath we have to use div and then span is there so what i'll do double slash span and then dot i just need to click on it so the moment i move immediately perform click and then log in okay so i'll repeat first we have seen that okay this entire section this particular pop-up is coming somewhere in this particular iframe okay so if you don't use iframe it will give you an error that okay no such element found or something like that so let's run it without iframe without switching on that iframe i'm going to comment this line and then you will see that it will give you an error so let's run it <coughs> see the pop-up is coming but it's not moving over there why because immediately it will give you an error the error is that no such element exception unable to locate element where xpath is equal to this div contains at the rate class is equal to this intercom chat card author on this particular line it's giving error because it's not able to move why because there is a frame in between so we have to switch on that particular frame okay then <clears throat> then we have to move on that particular element right so let's run it again let me close that and let me run it again so okay <clears throat> now the pop-up is there now i think it should mouse over okay it's not doing mouse over again it's showing some error no such element <coughs> sorry guys uh no element found by intercom borderless frame intercom borderless frame driver dot switch to dot frame okay let me check what is the border name once again the iframe name is this iframe allows screen intercom borderless frame borderless frame okay we have to mouse over we have to switch just a minute switch to dot frame and uh, let me debug it and let's see once again
okay <clears throat> so uh, this particular okay pop-up is there and I'll step by step okay now it is switching maybe this particular pop-up is coming after few seconds few fracture of seconds taking so that's why I have to put a weight over there so now let's see now action class object will be created then it will mouse over on that particular element and then simple see the mouse over on that particular element is done now you can see the cross icon over there this is a cross icon you can see it over there and then it will click on it okay it got clicked and let's see then it's clicking on login button or not yes it's clicking on login okay maybe some error let's run it again so now what I'll do before switching red dot sleep I'll be using let's say I'm gonna wait for five seconds okay just add throws declaration and let's run it again see these are the scenarios are very small but you have to use some technique to handle okay now the pop-up is coming after that it will mouse over and the pop-up is closed see the mouse over and immediately pop-up got closed but maybe it's not clicking on login button because of some other reason maybe unable to locate element maybe there is another okay for login maybe maybe let's me check any frame is there or not okay frame is not there so I'll do one thing let me spy this okay this is a simple input field so there is no frame so we can use value equal to login type equal to submit let me check this xpath oh 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 see we have to provide double slash right so let's run it again now see it will enter username and password and then the moment pop-up is coming immediately it will disappear okay so it got disappeared and clicking on login button right <coughs> so what I'm doing here the moment that particular model pop-up is coming I'm just switching on that particular frame okay after few seconds switching on that particular frame and by using the action class I'm moving on that particular okay model pop-up and the moment I switch or the mouse over I do that cross icon will be there and I'm immediately clicking on it and then the login button is working so this is how you can handle such kind of irritating pop-up sometimes it's coming like chat pop-up okay and chat with me or some some alerts are coming sudden alerts are coming something like that so like that you can handle okay so this is the only section that I wanted to cover by mistake I forgot to enter this double slash but okay that's not an issue so I'm entering username password if I don't enter this particular code if I try to click on login button directly it will not do that I'll see I'll repeat it again if, if I comment this particular line <coughs> entering simple username password and clicking on login button it will not work we have to do such kind of thing sometimes see again I'm calling okay this program and uh, see oh this time it worked it clicked on maybe that pop-up could not be enabled immediately so let me close all these browsers and then we will check it again now see sometimes this particular pop-up is coming over here <coughs> the moment pop-up comes you cannot do anything so you have to mouse over and you have to click on this cross icon then you have to perform something okay so let me run it again let me close all these browsers okay so let's run it again okay now this is taking because immediately that pop-up is not coming okay so pop-up is coming now here 
but sometime what happens on the login page itself I'll, i have already shown you in the beginning of the this particular video that the moment i enter username password that particular pop up is coming now i'll do one thing let's wait for 5 seconds and then click on login button so that we can see that pop up okay so let's run it again see this is a different experiment we have to do right to make it more stable now see this pop up is coming now it will not click on login button oh see it's just still clicking on login button but earlier we have seen that okay it was not clicking on login button because of this model pop up okay so this sometime it works sometime it doesn't work so we have to be very careful that okay the moment the pop up is coming mouse over and cross the icon okay click on cross icon something like this so this is how like a lot of people they are asking that okay Naveen, we are not able to log in okay into freecrm.com so this is a solution for that you can write this particular code okay to the proper login sorry okay you can write this particular code for the proper login you have to do such this four lines of code you have to introduce before login switch on that particular frame mouse over on that particular section once the cross icon is visible then click on it and then perform login button so this code will work 100% okay so oh my god just a minute okay so let me run it last time and uh, <coughs> see the pop-up is coming it will mouse over it will close the pop-up and then log in so this is the perfect solution for that right so ultimately what exactly i'm trying to say sometime it works sometime it doesn't work because of this irritating pop-up so we have to stop this pop-up so how to stop this is what we have to do that okay so this is just like i wanted to cover because we have seen a window pop-up we have seen alert pop-ups we have seen file upload pop-ups okay but sometimes uh, these kind of pop-ups are coming like chat window pop-ups okay and some sudden uh, you know model pop-ups are coming these are called model pop-ups so how to handle because in in selenium we don't have any direct apis just like we have alerts we have alert api for window pop-up browser window pop-up we have window handlers are available okay for file upload we have auto it or sequely or such kind of things are available for, for model pop-up selenium does not provide any direct apis because ultimately these model pop-ups are part of web element only we can inspect it that's why they haven't given any apis for that so we have to use the selenium concept okay xpath concept and move to element action classes and then click on the cross icon such kind of things we have to use for that okay so that's all for this particular video guys if you really like this video please share with others and now you can use the same thing for my page object model series also you can refer and without any problem you can log in into the freecrm.com so this is the solution okay for that thanks for watching and uh, please share with others and subscribe to the channel guys please do that thank you so much